First one, hats off the Pine Bluff. I thought uh, they came out in the second half and really attacked and was able to hit uh, crucial buckets at crucial times uh, late down the stretch uh, in the contest, which uh, caught, which enabled them to get over the hump. Uh, initially, I thought we came out in the first half and played extremely well. Um, was able to jump out to a lead. Uh, and then, um, of course, then the Pine Bluff uh, charged back and we was able to sustain the lead going into halftime. Uh, then the second half, they came back with a, with a zone and uh, initially there about the first four minutes, I thought we handled the zone pretty good. Uh, and then I thought we became a little bit stagnant and we weren't getting quality shots in, in the zone. Uh, as well as I thought we took some, um, I guess, pretty long range shots that I would have liked to have back <laughs> and quick shots. So, um, you know, it's unfortunate uh, that it ended this way, uh, especially uh, having uh, five seniors uh, uh, to, to lose in the first round. Coach, uh, where did the game in the second half, you know, we had a seven point lead, where did the game turn, you think? Well, I think it, we just didn't uh, we just didn't execute, uh, especially right around the 16 minute mark. We didn't execute uh, versus their zone. Uh, they were switching zones on us, and um, we should have kept uh, getting the ball in the inside. And I didn't. Instead, we went to jump shots, shooting long range jump shots instead of continuing to attack, attacking the paint. With the 4:28 left, coach, uh, probably maybe one of the bigger turning points of the game, an intentional foul call, the frost to the free throw line, had two free throws and the ball. Uh, that's when the game kind of turned, could have swung either way at, at, at that point. Talk about that sequence. Well, I thought Tierra played uh, good on ball defense, was able to come up with the steal, and um, of course, then the intentional foul occurred. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate. Unfortunately, you know, she stepped to the line and missed, missed both of them. Uh, and that would have been huge for us uh, had she been able to sink both of those free throws. Then at the same time, we ended up getting the ball. And we didn't capitalize. So instead of it being a four point swing, uh, we ended up going back down, and I believe they scored. Coach, your record definitely not indicative of the kind of team and the talent that you have. It seems like throughout the season, you've been plagued uh, with those second half um, woes or second half troubles. Is that due to uh, depth or, or just uh, lack of experience? Well, I think a lot of it, too, uh, you, you do have to look at depth. Um, you know, a lot of people see that we have five seniors, but a lot of those seniors didn't get quality minutes uh, during the course of their years. Um, but, you know, yet and still, you still have to be able to pull out games. You have to be able to step to the free throw line, knock down shots, or or get something off the dribble or whatever the case may be, you have to be able to, to pull it out. And you, this is indicative of how our season went. We would be in, in games uh, in the second half pretty much all the way down the stretch and uh, we wouldn't get a stop or uh, we would turn it over something along those lines and uh, it would go the other way. Isis on the, on the floor um, during those final minutes, I remember seeing Crumbly pulling you guys together. What exactly were you guys saying that down the stretch to that one we, another? That we had to pull together, that we had to finish this game out. We still had confidence in ourselves. We never doubted that we, that we couldn't finish the game out. Uh, question for Renell Richmond. Uh, Renell, you got in early foul trouble, and I'm sure that was a, that was tough to deal with early on, wasn't it? Yeah, it was it was pretty tough. Talk talk about the game that, that you had in uh, the second half. Talk about uh, the second half. We were up seven. Um, I was just basically trying to stay focused. Coach was telling the same thing. <coughs> it's kind of hard playing when you're in foul trouble. It's easy to, you know, put that pressure on yourself. But at the same time, I was trying to help my team and, you know, attack, be aggressive on the offensive end and still be aggressive on the defensive end, even though the game didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. Just not give up and try to maintain. Isis, you got up to a good start in the game. Yes, I did. I was my adrenaline was running. We made it to the championship last year, so this wasn't new to me at all. 
how tough was it for both players? Last year we did get to the championship game, even though it was a tough year. The disappointment of uh, not getting to where we want to be. Um, it's it's pretty disappointing, especially. Well, I know for me, I don't. I never really go out with a loss, an L, and four fouls, and not be able to play all of the first half due to foul trouble. I felt like I could have gave gave my team a lot more. But I didn't get the, the opportunity and chance. As a team, did you talk about last year's run in the, t in the tournament before coming, stepping on the court today? Well, for the most part, the people that were here, we knew how it felt last year to win, you know, go four games in those five days. And um, we tried to like build from that, you know, come in here and do the same thing, pretty much. Coach Edwards, how tough is it when you look at these seniors, five seniors, playing their final seconds, their final game, you know, considering what has happened over the years with this team, a good academic bunch that was good in the classroom and did a lot of good things in the community. Just talk about this uh, senior group as a whole. <coughs> you know, it has been a great senior group. Uh, these young ladies, like you said, has uh, made huge strides in the classroom. Um, they will all be graduating and basically on time uh, in four years. Uh, so we're, we're extremely proud about what they've accomplished in the classroom. And I just wish that uh, on the playing, uh, playing court that uh, it, it would have turned out a lot better for them um, because I thought they, they really deserved it. And um, especially, you know, they helped the group last year make it to the finals and it would have been nice for them to be able to uh, uh, be playing. Uh, in the finals, but um, my hats to all, as I'll talk, all our young, our seniors, um, because they did, they worked extremely hard, and uh, like I said, it's just unfortunate, uh, it had to end this way. Thanks, Coach.